Recently, Hillary Clinton uh, got in a little bit of trouble because she's been taking a lot of money from uh, speaking engagements, and uh, a lot of those speaking engagements are at some of the top banks in the country, including Goldman Sachs, which paid her approximately $200,000 of speech twice. And at those speeches, Hillary Clinton would talk about, oh my God, you poor bankers are unfairly maligned. And uh, obviously implying that she would be there for them and protect them, as the Clintons have for a long, long time. Now, when she was challenged on that, she said, "Oh no, no, no! You guys don't understand. I don't even money. For us? Are you kidding me? Uh, I had to do these speeches, and we had to write the books, and so Bill Clinton had to do the same thing because when we left the White House, we were dead broke." And recently they had an article about how, no, 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 it's true that they did not have money when they first left the White House. And Hillary Clinton also said, we were worried about Chelsea Clinton's student loans. Oh, <laughs> come on, come on. Yes, technically you didn't have money. But you didn't know that Bill Clinton was going to make millions of dollars in speeches, let alone Hillary Clinton. And you would both make multi-million dollar deals on your books. It's so disingenuous right now. Their uh, net worth is valued between 100 to 200 million dollars. Look, there's nothing wrong with being rich. Just please don't bother lying to us about it. It's silly and it makes you look ridiculous and like the fake politician that you obviously are. So asked about it again, she said this. They don't see me as part of the problem, the people. Because she's got a direct connection to the masses. They don't see me as part of the problem because we pay ordinary income tax, unlike a lot of people who are truly well off, not to name names, and we've done it through the dint of hard work. Now, look, two parts of that are true, two parts are questionable. So they do pay ordinary income tax, unlike she's implying, like Mitt Romney and a lot of the Republicans who avoid all their taxes. Great credit to them. Absolutely. Did they work hard in the beginning, come out of nowhere? I mean, of course they did. They were just two random families in Arkansas. They weren't the Bushes. They weren't originally the Clintons. It was just a dude named Bill Clinton and a woman named Hillary Rodham. And they went to great schools and they worked hard. Now, the parts that are not true is, she says a lot of people uh, who are truly well off, implying that she's not in that category. Come on, man, you got 100 to 200 million dollars. It's okay, it's okay. But don't pretend you're not truly well off. I mean, what does it take to be truly well off? Two billion dollars? Ridiculous, right? But more importantly, at this point, what are you getting paid for? Look, I'm not denying there was a ton of hard work to get to where you were. But at this point, you're not paid for the hard work. It's not like, uh, wow, I had to prepare that 30 minute or even sometimes 45 minute speech in front of Goldman Sachs. That was really worth 200,000 dollars. No, they're paying you for political access because they think you might be the next president of the United States. So don't also insult our intelligence by pretending that at this point you're making your vast fortune on hard work. You're making it on access. Now that applies to almost all parts of your family because then Chelsea Clinton's next. They talked to her recently there was uh, the controversy about how she's getting paid $600,000 by a year by NBC News and doing almost nothing. She's done two reports in the last 18 months. In that same time period, she got paid $900,000 for two reports, okay? No effect on the ratings or anything. This is basically paying for political access. Now, I wonder if she was able to pay off her student loans. I think they were fine on that count. When Chelsea was asked about this, she said, look, I, I didn't want to get into politics. I didn't want to follow just what my parents were doing. And then I had to decide whether I wanted to work for the money. And she said, quote, I was curious if I could care about money on some fundamental level, and I couldn't. That wasn't the metric of success I wanted in my life. Again, here, it's a mixed bag. Look, she doesn't want to go into the world of perhaps finance, banking, etc., because she doesn't want to just try to make more and more money. All right, credit to Chelsea Clinton. At the same time, <laughs> you have to understand that if for the entire Clinton family, at this point, please stop pretending you're like, oh, one of the people. I don't know, look at poor Chelsea from Arkansas. <laughs> I didn't want to use money uh, as some metric of success. And she said, I, I, I didn't care about it on a fundamental level. Do you know why, Chelsea? Because you have it. You see, you care about money on a fundamental level when you don't have it. When you can't pay your rent and you can't get food uh, for your family, then you care about it on a fundamental level. So these are not horrible transgressions. It's just that it feels like the Clintons are talking down to us while pretending to be 
part of us and saying, "Oh, my income redistribution, this is the thing that we care most about because we're not part of the truly well off. <laughs> when you say you don't care about money on a fundamental level, you really don't quite understand how things work. And you've got to especially be careful in not saying things like that when you make $600,000 a year for doing almost nothing. That's her part-time job, by the way. She admits it's her part-time job. And her uh, husband's a hedge fund manager. Again, nothing wrong with that, but don't come telling me about how you're not well off and how you don't care about money and money is not what guides you. It's easy for money not to guide you when your family has hundreds of millions of dollars. Just be a little careful in how you speak about it because it comes off as terribly arrogant.